One of the best spawns introduced lately, this is the Nimbersoft's Breeding Ground. This spawn is located in Sao, inside the Temple of Equilibrium, for which you will need the new Frontier quest up until Mission 9, and the spawn is part of the 20 Years of Cook quest, so you will have to complete it all the way to gain access. With the exception of doing the final boss, the Dragon Pack, the spawn itself consists of two floors, but the main one to Team Hunt is the first floor, and the plus one is more commonly used for solo hunts, although it can be Team Hunted as well if the server is too busy, but then it runs into the issue that some higher level teams do require a few pulls of plus one on top of using the first floor, but more on that later, since as per usual, I will break down how to hunt here for a variety of level ranges. Now defensively, as the EK, you mainly take three sides of damage, physical, death and fire. The use of death protection in Bumen is the best, and same goes with pretty much everyone else, since the way of hunting I will be covering consists of big lures where everyone is bringing creatures and receiving damage. Offensively, the dragons are weak to earth damage, so the EK should use whatever earth weapon is available, with energy being good as a backup or if the weapon is better, such as using a sanguine razor over a attacker blade for example. As for mages and paladins, the use of stone showers is also the best way to go, unless as the sorcerer, you are using a wheel with runic mastery. In that case, thunderstorms are fine too. And speaking of wheels, I would recommend for everyone to go AoE focus, such as Exotic Mass on the EK and Grenade on the RP, but ED and MS are a bit more tricky to decide on. Since they are very weak to earth, the ED could focus on Terra Wave and Twin Burst, but having the bigger mass rest is very helpful on hunts with a lot of creatures, since it gets easier to heal both EK and RP while still healing yourself. And for MS, it can be Runic Mastery, bigger E Wave, or even the debuff upgrades. As for the charms, it should be something like this. It will depend mostly on what you have available, as something like the Holy Charm is not often an option, but keep in mind that both Dragolis and War Dragon are the most common creature, so prioritize them. And in case you are starting to hunt here, the charms won't take you very long. In about 2 hours and a half, you complete the main 2 and the Mega Dragons take a bit over 6 hours. And before I break down the labs, I know lower levels in the range of 400s or so can start hunting here, but I haven't done that myself so I have no recordings. I will say it's just going from room to room with less luring from everyone, so keep that in mind and adapt to your team's range. With that said, the first lap I will recommend is for level 600s. Normally, you will be coming from the right during the actual lap, and in that case, EK goes ahead and lures from the south room. ED stays closely to damage and heal. Meanwhile, RP goes to the north room and MS goes further to the left, both bringing the creatures they are able to. The RP should be able to bring most of it, but at this lower range, the MS is usually just bringing about 5. Then the next pull is to finish up what the MS couldn't lure. This can be changed entirely by not having the MS lure and instead stay with the RP and damage his lure, and that will leave more creatures for the left pull. So maybe try both ways and see which one works best. For the next one, we will all head north, RP is splitting up and coming from the left side, luring that room and everyone else taking the right side, with ED staying closer to the EK and MS luring the creatures left behind, everyone connecting into the room and then repeating the same for the next one, then moving on follow the path northeast. For this one we were doing a trap style pull, first slowly luring the creatures into the hole and having the RP go ahead to lure from the northeast, this can be done in the open running around the EK like previous pulls, but there is less space for that, so we personally prefer the trap style as it seemed to make things easier on our druid, but that is individual preference. For the next pulls, you can do the same if you prefer. Normally, EK lures the left room and RP lures the right. MS can lure 2 or 3 from the south or help EK or RP with their lures. I personally didn't do a good job on this recording. Either way, if you hunt trap style, do it here by the south side. Or if you do it in the open instead, have EK stand in the middle. Then next up, EK lures southeast room and RP goes further ahead to the room northwest of the intersection, where you will be meeting. This was the first pull we gave up on doing the trap style, as it has more mega dragons that shoot from range, and that was harder on the mages than running in circles, so even though I'm showing the trap style, I don't recommend it. Perhaps for none of the pulls honestly, as I said, it's individual preference to your team. And then to finish up the lag, go south and in case staying in the middle, with RP grabbing a few more by the left. This completes the lap, which should be of over the 7kk raw XP, up to more than 8kk with better characters, soul cores and equipments. Additionally, we also did some 5 main hunts with double EDs, and it will be around 500k less raw XP. 
next up is a lab for 800 or higher. For the first pool, the EK will be luring from the north, ED from the south, RP grabs the creatures by the right, and MS lures most of the room to the left. This time, MS should be able to do that, and by the time he comes, most of the main pool is dead. Then next up, follow the path, again RP splits up and goes from the left. Meanwhile, EK rushes to the room northeast and ED follows behind. This time, the four runes will be connected into one big pool, with the men's coming last with the creatures from the far south. Next pool has two options. First is what we do on this recording. Do a quick, simple pull in this room and then continue southeast. With MS luring northeast, EK lures the right side and RP lures the left. For this one, rather than staying by the middle, try to set up closer to the north so that the MS is able to lure most of his creatures and get here on time. The second option I mentioned would have been to skip the previous small pool and instead have the RP lure all of that and MS EK doing the same lures but this time ED will lure the left room. This is harder to pull off and is the only change I will recommend for slightly higher levels. Next pool is the same spot as before. EK lures the room on the right and this time the MS is the one luring northwest. So the RP goes further into the south and brings creatures from the north side of that big room. Then next up, skip this big room and head to the stairs to plus one. EK grabs the creatures nearby and MS ED go together to the northwest. With ED going first so that he drags some of the creatures closer to the entrance and gets back first. Meanwhile, MS lures the ones in the back and during that the RP will have gone south to bring more from there. This one could also slightly be improved with levels by having the ED lure from the northeast instead and having everyone bring more creatures, but that once again is harder to pull off and recommended for slightly higher levels. With that the lap is completed and the experience should be of around the 9 to 10kk raw and I believe the spawn caps are around 10.5 to 11kk with the improvements mentioned. Higher than that might be hard to get due to overkilling and will need some more pulls from plus one that result in backtracking, but feel free to let us know in the comments below how much experience your team makes and if any better pulls out there. Additionally, it's highly recommended to include the boss into your hunt, especially if using experience boost. Head there when your timer is down to 1 minute left and that will work on the XP from the boss, which ends up being a pretty good bonus. Lastly, profit is very dependent on your supplies use. In average, you can make around the 400k per person up to 700s. And sorry I didn't have proper recordings of these hunts. At that time, I was more actively streaming on Twitch and wasn't able to stream and record at the same time. So the recordings I did were early hunts and one of the last. Thank you for watching, consider subscribing if you like the content, and a special thanks to the Guild Causality, to Nightstar and Duna Hero for supporting the channel.